what's up everybody welcome to my channel if you're new here um what i do here is uh on my channel i i explore all the the various ways to make passive income uh with cryptocurrencies um there's going to be more like affiliate marketing and uh just like uh, marketing tactics and stuff like that mlms in the future but right now it's just staking lp pools and uh reflections tokens and stuff like that so bicker is a brand new pretty brand new um it, and it's it's gaining a lot of traction and, and news coverage real quick so um i wanted to check it out and see what it's all about and uh right away right away um i got the little bot that says uh you know if you need help uh in that message bubble it popped up a screen i don't know why it's not doing it now but it said if you need help just ask a question and i asked some questions and there was a real person right there like a real person not just a bot and i was impressed by that um i'm not using the bitgirt blockchain so what they did is they 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 launched on um on like finance chain and then came out with their own chain like a, a lot of uh a lot of new uh projects will do that um so um bicker is the fastest and uh cheapest blockchain ecosystem um to date um keep in mind you guys this is not financial advice uh, i'm just i'm just uh documenting my um my journey along the way as i go and I'll, I'll share my screen with you guys so so you know if it helps you that's cool uh just understand it's not investment it's not investment advice not financial advice i'll uh, say okay so um i'm just gonna read along a few things join the fastest growing ecosystem bicker is a crypto and engineering organization that has built a super fast blockchain which has over 100,000 transactions per second and has a virtually zero cost gas fee. The fastest growing ecosystem with projects spanning DeFi, NFTs, Web3, and much more. BitCurt has also developed BRC20, ERC20, BEP20 supported wallet on Android and iOS. Um, I'll explore that later in another video. Right now, I'm just only buying it in, on... Um, pancake swap and then staking it in in big kurt's uh exchange um and it, it pays um so this is kind of like reflections token but you have to manually claim your rewards instead of just dropping it in your wallet but it's it's another one that pays in in uh busd binance peg us dollar so i'm so i'm coming up with this new strategy where where i'm i'm investing into um uh, reflections tokens and LP pools and stuff that that pay out in US dollar because if, if anybody in the space already you know we just had a huge crash and all the altcoins really crashed down especially on on crypto.com's chain um, and uh, if I if I have some some passive income in, in the form of the US dollar it's not going to drop in value I might not make as much it might how much I'm making might go down but it's still going to be US dollar and I could buy up all the dips with it with that that's gonna be my part of my strategy all right so um zero cost gas fee blockchain bitcurt chain is the only blockchain which has managed to build a zero cost blockchain and gas fee are as low as 0 0.00000001 dollar per transaction so first really free you can get over a hundred million transactions with a dollar at that rate. So um, even even relatively cheap uh, blockchains like like Binance Smart Chain and and um, Kronos blockchain, um, the the fees hit here and there, like creating LP tokens and staking them and and withdrawing all 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 these fees add up you know it could be like from anywhere from like 30 60 cents to a few bucks and it it adds up so if you're broke like me that that really matters if if you're, if you're already rich in the space you know it don't really matter but 
most people are not okay so um they have like a launch pad for for people you know um creating their own own projects and could you contribute to the blockchain um uh, bringing uh, whatever it may be nft projects or DeFi projects um so this is a brand new blockchain there's gonna be a lot coming out on here um the validators are located around the globe and cannot be owned by the same organization. Uh, fast and scalable, centralized, zero gas fee. Those are those are the sell points. All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to um, to the conversation I had with the with the support. Um, <clears throat> so I just I just wanted to cut cut to the beef and 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 uh, figure out some info. So I, so I asked, so Bryce is a reflection token on the Binance Smart Chain? Uh, Bryce or BRISE is, is um, it's uh, short for BitRise and it's, it's BitKurt's um, token. Um, he says, no, you only stake to receive wards in BUSD. And I, and I asked, like, what well, on PancakeSwap? Because I'm just buying it on, on uh, Smart Chain. And I figured it was a reflections token that automatically pays me like the other ones, but yeah, he was he was cool enough to be like, here's the contract address, because I don't know why they don't all just put that right on the front like how like how Buff Doge is, because um, a lot of people don't know how to search around for it. I'm gonna leave the contract address. This this is how you add it to your wallet, and also import it into like Pancake Swap so you can trade it. Um, I'll leave this link in there in my description too. And uh, this is important, you guys. Um, and I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go buy some in a minute, but you have to set the slippage to um, 14%. I mean, it could work if you set it lower, but it, for some reason, these new new coins that come out, um, the the slippage tolerance you have to raise it up. And I think what that is is like. You could like lose or gain on the trade. Like I, I th I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but like if it goes down, it could go out down up. The price could go down up to 14 percent right when I'm in the middle of my trade, be before it reverts the transaction. Um, if it goes beyond that, or it reverses the transaction, but but that usually doesn't happen. I don't know. I don't know exactly how that works. I just do what they say. Um. So I asked, does it, if, does it work like other reflections tokens? And then he just gave me all the instructions. Um, he said there was a, there's been some API connect errors with, um, with the trust wallet and MetaMask, like inside the DAP browser. So he asked me to open it in like a, like a browser, like Chrome, and use wallet connected. And it's pretty much the same. I'll show you how it's done. And another, another, um, another key thing that he pointed out was, um, I guess I guess the staking doesn't go through very easy unless you unless you put a point and then some zero uh, two, four zeros behind there and make it even. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go do it right now. I'm gonna buy some. I'm gonna buy some B rise. It's the bit the bit rise, and uh, I'm gonna stake it. So I'm gonna go to my trust wallet. Now I'm not using their blockchain. I'm I'm I'm. I'm using the um, Binance Smart Chain, and uh, I'm going to stake the, their token on 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 their exchange on the Binance Smart Chain. And later on, um, I'm going to get into their blockchain and check out all the products they got. And I'm just going to buy a little bit right now because I, I really don't have much money right now. I kind of hit a wall, so okay. You have to make sure that you have some um, excess. Uh, Binance Smart Chain. Um, typically, fees are about like 30, 30 cents, 40 cents, um, sometimes less. So, if you're working with Binance Smart Chain, always leave like at least like two bucks in your balance there. But I'm gonna tr I'm gonna trade some of that Smart Chain token for um, for the B rise. So I'm gonna go to um, my browser and uh, 
I'm going to go to bitgirt.finance. Okay. I did not try it in the DAP browser. They might have fixed that API thing. Who knows? Um, but uh, I've I've run across some other uh, ex, uh, DeFi DApps that that do that. So it won't let me do it in a DAP browser. I have to use go to my regular browser and use the Wallet Connect. I was already connected from earlier, but I'll I'll show you real quick. I'll disconnect. So you just hit that Connect Wallet button. And then hit connect. And then hit, um, I'm using Trust Wallet. So this is a Trust Wallet uh, tutorial. So I'm going to open it with Trust Wallet and just, I'm going to hit that just once because I use other wallets too. Now it's going to ask me, uh, it says Bit. Baker wants to connect to your wallet. Um, make sure it's the Binance chain right there. Smart chain and hit connect. Now I'll go back to my browser and it should be connected. I might have to do it twice. Let's try that again. Wallet connect. there now it's connected it's kind of laggy so yeah once it shows you you can see the beginning of the address and that circle around the wallet it means it's connected so now um actually i'm gonna go to pancake swap first i forgot sorry i skipped a step um so actually i'm gonna go to um that notepad, copy the contract address. So uh, this is the contract address. I'll leave this in the description and I'm gonna add it to my wallet right now. So I'm gonna copy that. Uh, go back to Trust Wallet. Now up in the upper right of the Trust Wallet, that's the coin list. And it's not going to be in the main list. This is just like already established crypto assets in the world. So I'm going to hit this add custom token there. And then um, I'm going to select the uh, Binance Smart Chain. And then I'm going to paste the address in that field, contract address. And it should bring up the name and everything right away. See, BitRise token. Price, then select done. Now, now that token is imported into my wallet, and uh, that's it. So I'm gonna go back and um, search price, search it. Um, some uh, you, after you add the wall, the import it to your wallet. You want to make sure that switches on so it shows up in your wallet. Okay, so it switches on and off. Okay, now that I now that I've imported the token, I'm going to go to PancakeSwap. Dot Finance, and um, I'm going to do that right in my DAP browser right there in the bottom. Uh, and uh, Pancake. Dot finance. Make sure you click that Ethereum symbol and select Smart Chain instead. Now we're on the Binance Chain. We're in Pancake Swap. Um, 
that connect. It's going to disconnect. Uh, oh, yeah. For swap. It usually automatically connects. It was because my wallet was connected to the um, to the other one in my browser, the the Big Grit Finance. Okay, but now we're in here. I'm gonna go to uh, trade on the bottom. And uh, B and B is what I'm trading. I'm gonna trade some of that, and I'm gonna select the the other one where it says cake, and I'm gonna paste that same address right in here. Um, that I copied from the support uh, chat. And there it is, BitGert Bryce. So I'm going to hit that import button. Now it's imported to my wallet and imported into the um, PancakeSwap DAP. So I'm going to understand this and click import. Now I'm going to trade... Um, Oh yeah, the, the slippage tolerance. This is important because it, it will keep denying your transactions um, usually. If they say to turn it up, then you turn it up so it, so your transaction goes through. So I'm going to hit that, that, that gear lever, the settings. And uh, it's already at 12. I had it on 12 before. I'm just, it probably would work still. Sometimes it does, but I'm just going to hit 14. Like they said, and then X that out. Now I'm just gonna let's do zero point zero two. Let's do that. Just a couple, just a couple dollars, really. Um, uh, now that it's that's close, it's that close to a million. I just want to get a million now. What would two five get me over a million? How about two, 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 five, two, two, five, five. Oh, come on. It's one a million. There we go. So it's a little bit over a million, whatever. So um, now I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, swap. Slippage tolerance is up. And it's going to charge an extra tax too. Um, so there'll be a small liquidity provider fee. And it's going to charge some tax to my BNB, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to, here we go. I haven't done this yet. Let's see if it works. Okay, the price updated. Hit accept, confirm swap. Charge me eight dollars and thirty all together. Proof. All right. There it is. Oh, and it, yeah, it taxed it. it. Taxed it on 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 that side because you saw I should have had I might have been the slippage that did that too I'm, I'm not sure but I think there's like an 8 or 10 percent tax and like 4 percent um, goes back to all the token holders so you're in passive income just by staking this one you don't just hold it in your wallet you actually have to stake it at at, um, at bigger.finance so I'm gonna go back to bigger.finance Now, um, I'm going to, oh, my wallet's connected already still. So I'm going to hit stake price and uh, earn up to 80% APY. I think they mean APR. People get those things, terms confused. APY means that you're including compounding cycles in, into your investment. APR, APR is just a, you know. That says up to nothing is set in stone in, in these in these D 
DeFi protocols. Everything goes up and down a lot. It's a lot similar to stocks. So I'm going to stake the maximum. Stake them all. And um, so 30 days, you get 6% in 30 days. Uh, the longer you stake, it goes up a little bit more. So 180 days is the highest. And it, it comes with a 45% return after eight, 180 days um, not including any compounding um, this doesn't auto compound because it pays you in a different token so you'd actually have to trade your the BUSD you earn and into more um, bit rise and then and then stake it again um so 180 days at six months I'm just gonna go ahead and stake for 90 days That's good. Okay, I'm going to enable. And it might just have me sign it or it might charge me a gas fee. Let's find out. 10 cents. I can live with that. All right. So I enabled it. I'm going to go back to my to the, my browser where I was at. Now I'm going to hit maximum and I'm going to hit stake for 90 days. Stake. Pay the gas fee. $1.81. Approve. See how I'm going back and forth from my wallet to my browser? You can connect your um, Web3 applications, decentralized applications, through your regular browser. It just sends you to Wallet Connect, and you, and you, just, you just hit Connect, select Trust Wallet. Wait a minute. Am I staked? Yeah, I'm staked. See, um, so I've already earned... Just barely after staking, I've already earned that much U.S. dollar. Um, I, I only I only bought like a few dollars worth, a couple dollars worth. Um, so I'm gonna add to this later. And um, you guys, I'm I'm gonna get into the to the BitGrip blockchain. It was just launched, literally like February set like February seventh, I think. So it's like not even three months old, and it being the cheapest. Um, and fastest blockchain the block every block goes like the average block time is 15 seconds on this like Bit, bitcoin and even litecoin blocks take like 20 minutes sometimes six minutes 20 minutes or something this is 15 second blocks so that's pretty cool all right so so yeah it's going to pay me busd for staking uh the b rise token BUSD is dollar peg, so it's the US dollar. It's just Binance on the Binance chain. Down here, it'll show my staked amount when it was staked. Um, now, you, can't, you cannot unstake until the time, until the 90 days or whatever. If it's 30 or you choose 180 or whatever, you cannot unstake until the time is up. But you can harvest any earnings. Keep in mind that you should have more than the gas fee to make it worth at least like three times the gas fee so if the gas fee is 30 cents i wouldn't want to claim it unless i have a couple dollars but i'm going to add more to this later so it gets gets flowing good and the percentage is not it's it's not ever going to be it's just an estimation and it's likely to be a lot higher than what they said really and if you compound it once once a week for a whole year it's going to be way over 80 percent apy probably close to 200 um, which is some real good earns I mean go ask a bank for even 5% APY <laughs> all right all right so sorry that was kind of a long video and um, so when I when I stake um, one more thing when I when I when I claim my rewards when I harvest it will it will drop BUSD right into my wallet it already knows my busd ad ad address 
Um, so that's the that's the magic of these uh, these Web three wallets. They're they're pretty cool, and these deflection tokens are a new thing. And I'm gonna get into a whole bunch more. I mean, Buff Doge, Evergrow. Now now this one is kind of kind of the same. The other ones drop. I don't have to do anything. It just drops right in my wallet. So uh, Baby Doge is like that too. We're gonna get into some other ones. So yeah if you want to check it out i'll leave all the info in the description um it's a hot project just just google it it's it's a hot new project and they got to deal with uh the cardano network in some way or another um it's looking looks pretty good all right you guys <clears throat> hey don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions or comments are you guys into bitgirt or are you bullish on bitgirt what's your stance you know what i mean all right, you guys, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll, I'll be back later. Peace.